my friends. How are you today? Y'all, uh, watch my last video where I said I wanted to go makeup shopping and stuff and bring you with me. And here you are. And here we are. You're with me. We're together. We're shopping. I still kind of got the ick a little bit. I feel like Jesus, is this just my voice now? <laughs> it has transitioned into like eight different voices. Like when I first got it, I couldn't talk at all. And then my voice got like real high pitched. And now it's like really low pitched and it's driving me insane. Like I just wish it would go away. But, you know, I would, I like wish it would go away, but my dumbass won't go to the fucking doctor to like make it go away. You know, I just don't like taking antibiotics. Like, I, I just, I don't fucks with antibiotics. I don't like taking them a bunch. I don't like taking them at all, to be honest. Hold on a sec. I'm at the ATM. Okay, we good. What was I, t I don't remember what I was talking about before I pulled up to the ATM. But, um, I want to go to TJ Maxx and I want to go to Ulta. I've, like, put a total standstill at decorating our house. Did I tell you guys, did I mention in the last vlog about the chair that I got? I still haven't picked it up yet. The dude had it like professionally clean, so I'm so excited to get it. I need to get some chalk paint so I can paint it. But if, did I talk about, I feel like maybe I mentioned that in a vlog or something. If I didn't, if I did, here you go, you're hearing it again. If I didn't, I went to this like store where this guy like resells stuff or whatever, and I got this really nice uh, like square chair. I'll show it to you guys. Uh, when we get it, but we gotta go pick it up. But it's been raining for like a days, and I'm so tired of the rain. Anyways, I just I don't know why that popped in my head. I'm just super excited uh, to get my chair. So I'm gonna stop it. Uh, I think I'm gonna go to. Did I already say that? I'm gonna go to TJ Maxx and to Ulta. Tim wants me to get him cologne, but I can't remember which kind. Oh yeah. What is it called? Chrome? Azaro or something? Chrome? Something along the lines of that. And then obviously I want to buy some makeups. NYX just came out with this new, um, I think it's called like Bare Nude Line or something like that, which is like right up my fucking alley, girl. So I am wanting to get the foundation from it, but there's only like five shades to the foundation because I set it up. I worked Sunday. And we, like, did the set for it. Um, there's only, like, five shades in the foundation. I don't know if that is the entirety of it or what the dilly. But, like, the lightest one is, like, pale, 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 pasty pirate. Like, even pastier than me. And then the next one up is, like, too fucking dark. So I'm like, what the hell? But it's five times the points right now on NYX. Uh, at Ulta, so I think I'm gonna buy a bunch of NYX stuff. Um, buy that because I've got like 700 points. I'm like manipulating the system, you know what I mean? I've got like 700 points, so I'm gonna buy that NYX stuff and boost my points up to a thousand so I can get $50 off. And then I'm gonna go buy a bunch of sheet. A bunch of sheet. I have to get face wash and cologne though, but I think I'm gonna go to TJ Maxx first. I totally would have left sooner. I don't even have that much time, but I wanted to film a video. I was going to film a video on, or I started filming a video um, using my Natasha Denona palette on this look that I have like going on on my eyes. So I started filming a video on it. My fucking neighbor started mowing his lawn and literally like all you could hear was his fucking lawnmower. Oh my God. I am like running out of breath. It's like hard for, I gotta like really push to talk. It's making me run out of breath. Um, my fucking neighbor started mowing his lawn and all you could hear was his fucking lawnmower. And then Hoyt started barking at him because all you could hear was his lawnmower. I was like, okay, fuck this. So I just finished getting ready and I was gonna do, um, uh, what's it called? The subscriber tag, the perfect subscriber tag. I was gonna film that. And then Tim texted me and was like, oh, I got some guy coming to give estimates on concrete and like some other shit that we want done to the house. I'm like, God damn it. God damn you. What the fuck? Okay. I guess I'm just going to leave then. But 
I just, I just gave up. I gave up on it. You know, that's what I did. So I'm in TJ Maxx now. Uh, let's go in and see what TJ Maxx has. Okay, BRB. Okay, all done. I just went from TJ Maxx to Ulta because, uh, they're just right beside each other. So I just went, just walked over there. I got a bunch of stuff at Ulta. I didn't get really anything at TJ Maxx. Like their furniture section wasn't that big. I was looking at, I was so bummed. I was looking at this like patio set. It was like two chairs and then like a little, you know, thinger or whatever in the middle, like a little table or whatever in the middle. And I'm like, oh my God, I really like this. It was like that, um, you know those chairs that they're like shaped like a circle and they got the strings or whatever on them? You know what I'm talking about? It was like that and they were black and they were so cute and I was like, oh my God, I want this. It was a three piece set for like $149 and I'm sitting here looking at it and the girl comes up because I was like, I wonder where the table is because it had a, it said three piece set on it. Um, and I was like looking for the table and the girl's like, oh, this is sold. And I was like, of course it is. Dagnabbit, of course it is. That's all right though. I don't need to spend $150 on uh, outdoor furniture just right yet. We just had our pergolas fixed. So I plan on getting like a couple of those swinging chairs because we had extra poles added to our pergolas because our one pergola was like literally sitting. I don't know if I mentioned this or not, but our one pergola was like literally sitting on our gutter. It had like blown off somehow and they were only being held up by the edge of our roof and like two poles. Usually like every other pergola I've ever looked at has like four poles on it. Ours only had two for whatever reason. Is my, I feel like my um, lens is like, like it has something on it or something. Like it's blurry. Is it blurry? Is that better? Not really? Okay. Well, if there's like smudgy stuff on it, I'm still going to upload it. Whatever. So anyway, um, I was looking at that and they didn't really have anything I liked. Summer clothes I don't want to get yet because um, I'm like still doing keto. Oh, I did get some keto coffee though. I'm going to try that out. It's got 150 milligrams of caffeine, which I fuck with real hard. The more caffeine, the better. That's what I say. So I got this like keto coffee stuff. It's like instant coffee. The last time I got keto coffee, I did not care for it, but we'll see with this. But, um, and then I just got dog stuff. <laughs> and I got like this weekly planner thing. Whoa, red light. To plan um, like my videos and stuff out. So I got this weekly planner thing. It's not a planner because Y'all know I fucking say, yeah, I'm gonna fucking be a planner, bitch, and then I don't because I'm a piece of shit. <laughs> but it's, let me see, while we're at the red light, it's this thing. It says seven days a week and it has like your days or whatever. I figure I can just keep it on my desk, um, like where I film at or whatever, and then I can write down video ideas and write down like requests and stuff like that while I'm, uh, um, filming. <laughs> and then at Ulta, I got a bunch of stuff. Uh, I originally had to go in and get Tim some cologne. So I, like I said earlier, manipulated my points. I had a bunch of points and I bought all this stuff for only like 25 bucks. So I'm going to do a haul with the stuff. I got a couple of things from NYX. I really, really, really wanted that fucking Stila. Even though I have a billion palettes that look like that, the shimmery, like glittery shadows looked so fucking nice. It's the Stila. I think it's called Work It or something like that. I'm not really sure what the palette's called. But all we had in stock was like the purple one. And y'all know, I don't really get down with purple. Like even though every time I wear it, people are like, you look good in purple. I don't, I can't, I feel like I don't look good in purple. So, which is like another reason why I did not want to buy the Riviera palette by Anastasia. But I got a, I got a few things, got a few things. I got some things from Wet n Wild. I was so fucking bummed. We don't carry, like, we just switched our drugstore portion around at Ulta, and we no longer have the Wet n Wild Cushion Contour, which I am very upset about. So I'm like, what am I going to do? So then I thought, well, maybe I'll just get, like, 
the cushion foundation just in in like a darker color but the darkest color they had was um this oh what was it like maple or something like that and it looked so orangey i was like oh man now what am i gonna do so i might have to go on the wet wild uh website and just order it online i know i like it i know what it is so because that is my favorite oh my god i'll be so bummed if they get rid of that i'll be so upset if they get rid of that because it is the best like contour bronzer whatever ever of life the best of life uh anyway so i gotta come pick aiden up now and of course it's raining again when i get home i think me and tim are gonna go to the gym uh because i need to go to the gym you know what i mean i hate the rain, you guys, it's supposed to rain for like the next two weeks. I, I sound like such a bitch. Like, I just constantly bitch, 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 bitch. Uh, I can't help it. Like, these past couple of weeks has had like, I was so excited, right? Because I was looking at the weather and stuff. Like, I was so over the cold. Like, I have seasonal affective disorder and get really depressed in the wintertime. And I was, like, so over the cold and, like, so over just being bummed out and, like, unmotivated. And when I looked at the weather, I was like, oh, my God, it's finally starting to get warm. We're on our last day of, like, no more fucking 20 degrees, 30 degrees. And then comes the rain. So now it's, like, dark out all the time. So I feel like, Jesus, maybe I do like the fucking cold. I'd rather have it cold and sunny than like dark all the time. It sucks. I guess while I'm sitting here, I might as well show you guys what I got. I'm going to do a haul anyways. This is the keto coffee that I got. The Keto Cafe Ketogenic Coffee. So I'm going to try this. I've been actually doing really fucking good on keto. Any other time I was on keto and I've lost 10 pounds. Any other time I've been on keto, I've been like, yeah, I'm fucking doing keto. And like, do, I just don't eat carbs. Like, I, I'm a bad keto person. Like, as long as it don't have carbs in it, I'll eat it. So I was just eating bullshit all the time. But now I eat, um, like sometimes during the day I'll eat some carrots. <laughs> I was going to do, I thought about doing like a what I eat a day on keto, but... I don't eat like other people eat. Like, I don't eat breakfast. I don't eat lunch. I never have eaten breakfast or lunch. And then I just have, like, my supper. And then I have, like, a fucking Enlight bar. Like, the Enlight ice cream bars or whatever. I have one of those with a little bit of peanut butter on it. Uh, after I eat supper, and that's basically all I eat. So, it would be a really boring <laughs> video of what I eat in a day. I see all these people like on keto or on like what I eat for weight loss. It just seems like they eat so much food. Even though it's not like high calorie, like there's not a lot of calories in it. It's like they just eat so much. It's weird. I don't know. Maybe I'm the fucking weird one. And then I got this little fog for little baby Hoy because he loves his toys. <laughs> Tim's probably going to stab that. He always stabs the squeakers with a knife so they don't make noise because Hoyt will sit there and just go nuts on a squeaker and squeak it and squeak it and squeak it. And especially, like, these ones we don't mind very much because they're not very loud, but... Bro, that is not going to go over well in my household. And then I got them... Uh, they really love bully sticks. So I got him these little, these are beef gullet bites. I don't even think they're bully sticks. What the fuck is a gullet? I don't know what a gullet is, but my dogs like this shit. So I got it. And then I got, I'm really debating on whether or not to even give them these. Um, I got them these beef rib bones. Dude, if you guys have dogs, like TJ Maxx has the best dog treats and they're so cheap. Like if you go to the pet store, like if you go to Pet Supplies or even like Myers or Walmart, their dog treats are so fucking expensive. And I don't like to get them like the bacon strips and like the, um, I don't know what the other one's called, but I feel like they're like 
really, like, I feel like they have bad stuff in them. I like to get them, like, animal parts, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Um, but I got them these beef rib bones, but I'm, I'm weary about giving them to them. I'm really undecided because whenever I give them, like, bones like this, they get them all over the place. And I have that new, um, rug, that white rug. And then at TJ Maxx, the last thing that I got is this rose water and glycerin. Because I had planned on re-upping on my Mari Badescu rose water. I was going to buy one when I went to Ulta. Um, and then I seen this and I'm like, this is perfect. Like, because rose water, it gives you hydration, whatever. But it doesn't have that stick to it or that like glowiness to it like a Fix Plus that has so much glycerin in it does. So rose water and glycerin together is a very nice combo nature. So I'm going to try that out and see how I like it. Uh, but I'm sure it'll be awesome. I'm kind of excited to try this keto coffee. I wonder if it's any good. Oh, the whole damn thing done came off of here. I don't want the whole wrapper to come off. I want to know where the fuck I got it at in case I like it. So I can order it on the Amazon. Let me see. It's sealed. I appreciate a good seal. That's nice. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Oh no, it kind of looks like the other one I bought. I mean, typical. It would look like that. Oh! 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 oh. That probably wasn't the best idea. Oh, that is so strong. Oh, I'm stupid. Why did I do that? That was so stupid. Hello, it's instant coffee. What the fuck? Why the fuck did I just do that? I'm so stupid. Let me see if I can grab my shit from uh, Ulta. And I'll show you guys what I got since I'm sitting here waiting on bro anyway. Uh, I got like 10 minutes before the bell rings. So it, hopefully my uh, camera doesn't fry. Let me turn my air conditioning on. Maybe that'll cool it down a little bit. I need it on. Ooh, it's a hot in here. It's very muggy. So I got these foot peel from um, OK, the brand OK. These ones were only like 7 bucks. I hope they work. The reason why I bought them is because it, it the first few ingredients is aqua, which is water. <laughs> <laughs> aqua um and then alcohol lactic acid sodium lactate and glycolic acid are like the first few ingredients so that's like essentially what it is and that's what like makes your feet feel and then i got this b venom pumping sheet mask the ultimate in firming because I like uh, bee venom mask. I used to get this one. I don't remember if it was this one or a different one. It was a really good mask. I got that for like some hydration and stuff. And then I got me some eye patches, some coconut eye patches. I've really been trying to like pump my skin up because uh, I'm getting it ready to do a peel. Hydrate, this Miss Spa Hydrate Facial Sheet Mask. When you buy sheet masks, pro tip, when you buy sheet masks, uh, look at the ingredients because I chose, okay, so I was trying to decide between this aloe mask um, and this aloe leaf extract mask, and then Tony Mully had one, but when I looked at the ingredients, the first, like, five or six ingredients on the Tony Mully one was water, glycerin, glycol, glycol buchanan or whatever the fuck it's called. Literally, the first ingredients on this is water and aloe barbadenis leaf juice. And then the butyl butylene glycol, that's what it is. So, the aloe leaf extract is like the second ingredient in here. And on the Tony, Tony Moly one, it was like the sixth or seventh ingredient. If you're unaware, an ingredients list is basically like um, the higher the ingredient on the list... Uh, the more of that ingredient is in there. So, uh, dope. And then I got my brightening ray scalp foam for already had that. 
I got Chrome Azario for Tim because he really liked that when we went to Sephora and smelled it. I got the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Gel because I want to try that. Those are really dark. Have you noticed how dark those are? Because I use a mixture between ash brown and dark brown in my eyebrows. Oh, girl. I tried the ash brown brow gel and it was like so fucking dark. So then I tried medium brown and it was like so fucking dark. So then I got soft brown. Uh, and then I got this NYX Fill and Fluff amazing fluffing brush for your brows. I tried this out because, like I said earlier, I set NYX up over the weekend. And uh, this is like a newer brow product of theirs. I don't care for the brush on it. I'll tell you guys in the, like, big whole video. I won't go into it now. And then I got this Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer in the color Sunset Strip Tees because I always use that Milani one in videos. I need to use, like, a different browser browser a different bronzer and then I got the next bear with me I was gonna say skinted tinted skin veil uh in the color true beige buff true beige buff and then what else did I get oh my keeping it tight I always get that and then I got this NYX ultimate eyeshadow palette in the color brights because I don't have any like super bright shadows and I just thought this would be a good palette to like make me use more color. I know I say that literally every time I buy a colorful palette I say that like I'm just buying this so it like encourages me to use more color and then I never do. I never use more color um, but hopefully this one will be a totally different scenario which I doubt but I just got it to like mix with other palettes and then this Wet n Wild Loose Highlighting Powder. I was so pissed. This is 397A, You Glow Girl. They did not have the one before this, but I swatched this one on my hand, and it was so pretty. Dude, I am all about loose highlighting powders. I think they look so much nicer on your skin than a, a press one does. I don't know what it is, but it just, like, sinks into your skin. And then I just got a re-up of my Kiehl's Facial Cream and Zen. I got a couple of these Wet n Wild Jelly eyeshadows. Um, they kind of remind me of, remember the Butter London little jelly shadows? Butter London was like the first person to do those jelly shadows and they were really nice. These are really nice too. And I was thinking about doing like a super bronzy look just using, this one's Champagne Diet. And when you blend it out, it almost like blends out like you could blend it out as an eyeshadow like it looked matte or something I don't know but I'm gonna try these out and then I know that's not it is that it maybe it is is that all I got what am I missing I thought I got something else I guess I didn't huh. but I only spent 25 bucks on all that stuff I mean no that's a lie the this the foot things and the NYX stuff I spent like 90 bucks on because this was like 70 and then because I wanted I'm sorry it's like raining dicks raining dicks it's like raining crazy out um I wanted to what was I saying let me think oh yes the cologne the NYX stuff and the foot peels or whatever were um Oh, this is what I got. I knew I wasn't out. I got this because I've been trying to wear my hair curly. I mean, obviously, I said I've been trying to wear my hair curly, but it's been, like, straight. But, like, naturally, I've been trying to get my natural curls to come back, even though I just put my hair in a bun all every day. Um, so I thought I would try this uh, Diva Curl Light Defining gel, gel because it's supposed to be, like, gel, but without being, like, crunchy and gross like gel is. You know, like the... Remember, like, back in the early 90s when everybody scrunched their hair? Or, like, the Chola hair, where, it, like, there's so much gel in it, it looks wet, and it's all stiff and crunchy. That's why I can't fuck with gel. So, um, I'm gonna try this and see what it does, and maybe I can wear my hair curly more often. I, it's hard for me to wear my hair natural because I constantly put my fingers in my hair. And when you wear your hair natural, when you put your fingers in it, it totally fucking, like, frizzes your hair out. So, but I'm trying to, like, 
I need to um, really hold on to the integrity of my hair because I'm getting ready to bleach it again, which I may do a video on. Do you guys want to see a video on how I bleach my hair? Please let me know in the comments below. Also, um... There was another one I was going to ask you guys if you wanted to see. I don't remember what it was. My camera just cut off. It overheated. So I'm probably I'm just going to end the video here because as soon as I pick bro up, I'm going to go back home, um, probably go to the gym. And then when I get back from the gym, i got to help Aiden with his homework, got to do supper, and, like, do all that stuff. Uh, this wasn't much of a vlog, was it? I know. I'm sorry. I'm just a ballless prick. It is weird to take your camera out in public and like film stuff because people stare at you and like think you're some kind of creep or a weirdo but anyways what I wanted to say was it's hard when I by myself if I was with somebody else it'd be a little bit more easy but anyways what I wanted to say was I'm going to be doing a chemical peel video um I have like teased around that I was going to do it and I never got around to doing it I just don't feel right doing it, but I'm going to do it because I have had more requests to do a video on how I do chemical peels than any other video I've ever had. So I'm going to do a chemical peel video, which is why I got those masks and stuff, which you'll see in the chemical peel video. It, it just worries me to do it because I worry that somebody's going to watch it and do the same thing and then fuck their skin up. And I would hate for somebody to do that. You know what I mean? So, uh, but I'll be real cautious as to like what I say and whatever else I've, I'm really I've got it all like planned out of what I want to say and how I want to say it whatever else is my finger on the was my finger on the mic I think it was I'm an idiot okay I am gonna go and take a fucking drink I can't talk anymore my voice is like <laughs> driving me insane because I can't be loud and stupid like I always am okay I'm gonna go because I can't talk anymore. I can't do it. And please release all walkers. So I got to pull up and pick bro up. So uh, thanks for coming along with me, even though that was kind of bunk ass. I tried to take my camera into TJ Maxx and the footage was fucking weird. I mean, I didn't take my camera. I took my phone. I tried to film in TJ Maxx and the footage was weird because I was like, ooh, let me do this really cool aesthetic thing and like put it on my shopping cart and it just didn't fucking work. It was all bouncy and weird. And then I was like trying to be all aesthetically pleasing and film myself looking at shirts and it like cut the bottom half and top half of me off. Best vlogger ever. Am I right? Okay. I just need to go. I'm going to go. So, um, that's it. That's the end. It's outro time. I love you guys. Thanks for all your well wishes on my, this stuff. Uh, hopefully it gets better and I don't have to go to the doctor and get antibiotics. Please, baby Jesus, tell me that is what's going to go down. Okay, I gotta go. I gotta take off. So, I love you guys. Um, uh, I feel like there's like something in between my peace, love, and chicken grease, but I don't think there is. So, peace, love, and chicken grease, girl.